Hello everybody. Today's video is going to be slightly different and it's in response to a question I get asked quite regularly. And that is how do you do dry brush sparkle? So of all techniques, practice is key. So I'll show you the way I understand it and then you can experiment and discover your own way of doing things. I find the term dry brush bit misleading really is the easiest way to think of it is really it's damp brush and drier paper you can see as the brush is dragged across the surface the paint sits on top of the little lumps and bumps and then it leaves the the white of the paper untouched and that adds that sparkle that we're looking for And the most important thing is to get the amount of water correct. So I've added too much now and it just doesn't leave the sparkle. It sinks down into the, the little divots and completely covers it over. If I squeeze some of the water out of the brush, and that's just left it just damp that's pretty much perfect so you can see as I drag it over we get that lovely sparkly edge and I'll just switch to a smaller brush and mix up a simple grey just some ultramarine and burnt sienna Just do a simple silhouette of a boat. Just one stroke really, it's very simple. Easy little reflection there, just bring a line for a mast and pop one on top. That's it. really is easy okay I'll run through a full painting of a Norfolk coastal scene now this is probably going to have way too much dry brush but it give, should give you some ideas you can use in your own work I just damp the surface with the mister and go straight in with a little bit of raw sienna Now I'm going to leave everything very loose at this stage, just allowing the paint to run and flow wherever it wants to go. Pop something at the bottom there for the reflection of the sky. A little touch of magenta to that. Again, just allow that to move about and flow together. It's just this little bit of cobalt blue and some ultramarine. Just gonna add a little bit more magenta into that. And none of this is too important at this stage really. It's just a first wash to set a bit of atmosphere. Most of it's probably just gonna be covered over with clouds. Now, always try and leave some of the white of the paper behind because that will act as our light source. Pop in a very simple horizon line. That's just a bit of cobalt blue. 
just soak up that little bead there and soften the edges of that. Okay, now just bring the wash down over the land. Leave some areas unpainted, that'd be the water a bit later. That's just a touch of Indian yellow into that. Okay, that's the first little bit of dry brush in there. That's probably gonna suggest a puddle or just like a broken muddy bank. And just outlining the edge of the creek. Again, it's not too important at this stage. Most of this will probably be just covered up. Okay, that's the first wash done. Just gonna dry it off. Okay, now that's fully dry. Just gonna mix a fairly deep blue with some cobalt, a touch of burnt sienna and some ultramarine. And I'm gonna put the clouds in using the dry brush technique. Fairly quick strokes with this, just creates like a nice windswept, wispy cloud look. Warm that up with a touch more magenta. There's a touch of raw sienna in that that will make a nice warm brown. some Indian yellow, that'll add a nice bit of glow. Still keeping it moving quite quickly. I mean, that's the clouds pretty much done. Might come back to it in a bit, but I don't think so. I think they look okay. okay just switch to a smaller brush now and just put in the horizon line again. That's just a touch of cobalt. OK, 
can just darken the land area. Using dry brushes I go just to leave a bit of sparkle and light. Just outline the edge of the creek again. Again, using dry brush and leaving sparkle and texture. Now some of the sky reflections. Making sure to leave the light behind in the middle. mix up that kind of reddy brown again that's just some Indian yellow and magenta and just bring that across for the other cloud reflection back to the small brush and just a few dark areas just to outline the edge of the creek. Okay, quickly dry that off and then we'll move on to the boat. Okay, I'll mix up a dark with ultramarine and burnt sienna. And then just add a few simple boats, just silhouettes really. That should give us a sense of scale. Similar to the earlier demonstration where it's just, it's really just one stroke and a mast. I think I'll probably just put the rest of them in. It's just gonna be lines and dashes, no real shapes or anything at all. It's just a suggestion. Put another boat there, kind of in the middle, slightly offset. Again, just keeping everything really simple. I think a few more suggested masts, bits and pieces. The reflection's really simple too. Just 
just barely touching the paper really, just dragging down a small bit of paint just to suggest it. couple more masks and I think maybe add a bit of texture just to the grassy kind of marsh area. Just a bit more outline around the edge of that creek. Kind of where the mud meets the water. That's it, that's the finished painting. Okay, I hope you like that. I hope you learned something from that, or at least found it entertaining. If so please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please think about subscribing to the channel. You can let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like me to cover in another video. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.